Hi guys and welcome back to my channel and if you are new here then hello so today I'll be creating this easy everyday makeup look with very few drugstore products in less than 10 minutes because knowing which products to use and in what order seems complicated and also time consuming but is actually very simple and easy to master so let's get started my skin is already moisturized so jumping straight onto the primer i am taking l'oreal paris lumi magic primer and i am applying this all over my face and this primer gives beautiful glow to your skin and helps makeup go on easier and last longer as well and this primer makes my skin look much healthier and less dry due to the glowiness it gives and also it doesn't have any chunky bits of glitter and in my opinion it looks like a very natural radiance rather than a glittering artificial made up look and then i quickly moisturize my lips before taking the l'oreal paris true match super blendable foundation in the shade natural beige and i'm dotting this close to the center of my face and then i'm blending that towards the hairline with my damp beauty blender and i have used this foundation for about many years now and i have to say it's still my number one and this foundation has never ever irritated my skin or caused any breakouts whatsoever and i found the foundation to be quite lightweight but has a good amount of coverage and is buildable and it's a very moisturizing foundation as well then to cover up my under eye darkness i'm taking illegal pro concealer in the shade yellow and i'm mixing it up with some ole regenerist moisturizer just to make it to glide on easily because the formulation is quite dry and definitely definitely cakes up the skin but it's a very good concealer though so I'm applying this just under my eyes to cover any darkness and any pigmentation and uh, whatever left on my hand I'm applying this in the center of my face and I'm blending that all away with my beauty sponge and then with the same concealer i'm priming my eyelids because the coverage is really really good and it evens out the skin tone beautifully and i'm blending that out with my beauty blender and it just makes the eyeshadows to stick to and for the colors to pop as well and then to set those concealed areas i'm taking Kawagal true blend setting powder in translucent fair and i'm setting my whole face with real techniques fluffy powder brush and this powder works great in preventing concealer buildup in fine lines because creasing or caking up the skin definitely ruins the whole makeup look and it sets beautifully and makes your skin look fresh and naturally matte then i am taking maybelline fit me blush in the shade berry bay and i am applying this as a eyeshadow and i'm just trying to keep it all in just one color on the lid because it's easier and perfect for everyday wear and the color pink really looks nice and fresh on the brown slash indian skin tones and i personally love pink so so much and i'm applying this with the help of luxie 121 taper brush and it's my lifesaver brush when i'm running late because it picks up the right amount of color and packs on eyeshadow very softly because the bristles are like feathers and a touch and feel is so great and i'm also applying the same blush along my lower lash lines as well before taking the l'oreal paris super blendable face powder in the shade cocoa and i'm just blending out any harsh lines and making the eyelids look soft and this is actually a face powder and is very pigmented just love this stuff and i'm also applying this along my lower lash lines as well to add some depth and dimension then i'm taking nyx retractable eyeliner in the shade black and i'm applying this along my upper lash lines first and it gives a nice eyeliner effect and i'm just slightly adding a flick at the outer corners of my eyes and now with an angled brush you can also use a q-tip and now what i'm going to do is i'm smudging it out a little bit and whatever smudge is there just take it out and you can make the flick sharper or just smudge it out that's your call but i like to make it kind of like a smoky flick because it gives a nice textured smoky eye effect and changes the whole makeup look and i'm applying this kajal along my lower lash lines as well and i'm joining it onto the upper corner like i'm kind of joining the upper and lower lash line corners to balance out and give some nice shape and depth 
to the eyes and i'm using the same angled brush from zoviva and i'm just smudging that out as well just blend the lower lash line dashes together starting from the inner corners to the outer until you feel like you have got the soft finish you want and now i'm tight lining both my upper and lower water lines to make the lash lines appear thicker than they actually are and the good thing about this eye pencil is it doesn't move even if your eyes kind of tears up a bit and almost every indian women loves wearing kajal and as you can see just a single kajal pencil changes up the whole eye look then i'm taking nyx epic wear waterproof eyeliner and i'm applying this liquid liner along my top lash lines staying as close to my lashes as possible and also you don't really want to see the liner it's just there to add depth and a wink is not the look but it's okay if you want to extend the line a little bit past your eye but i'm just lining my lash lines to fill any gaps because i'm not wearing any falsies for this look then i'm taking my favorite and trusty maybelline lash sensational mascara and i'm applying tons of mascara onto my both upper and lower lashes and my love for this mascara is not going to fade away and i bet most of the indian women have this in their makeup stash because it's super affordable and stays good for a really long time and i have long but very flat and straight lashes but this will hold up the lashes well and kind of curl up and the brush can evenly coat the lashes because the brush has different lengths of bristles and is incredible for reaching smaller lashes in your inner corners and then i'm filling in the brows with l'oreal paris brow artist pencil in the shade brunette and it feels like gel product in a pencil form because it's very pigmented and dries quickly as a gel product does and if you have naturally dark or black hair then this brow pencil is definitely for you so here i'm removing the excess product with this pulley end before taking the l'oreal paris brow artist plumper in the shade claire and what it does is it kind of sets your brows in place and prevents the centipede lashes and you don't have to worry about messing up the brows if you are running late because you will never go wrong with clear brow mascara then i'm contouring the usual parts of my face not too crazy but just to warm up the skin a little and to add the sculpted effect to the whole face with the same l'oreal paris powder in coco shade with my real techniques contour brush i'm going over with my beauty sponge to make sure everything is blended together and there are no harsh lines or any product build up on my skin then with the same fit me blush just add a slightest amount not as much as i did here but you can always tone it down with some powder so i am taking the same covergirl setting powder and i am just dusting out the excess blush making sure it's blended and melted into the cheeks and there is no obvious color change on my skin then i am taking nyx high glass illuminating powder in the shade moon glow and i am spotlighting the high points of my face and i am elevating the overall glassiness of my look with this softly tinted high glass illuminating powder onto the high points of my face and it has this very light kind of soft shine to it and doesn't look glittery or shimmery and you see it only when the light hit on the right plane it's so beautiful and soft moving on to the lips i am taking pixi matte liquid lipstick in the shade pleasing pink and i am applying this all over my lips and it applies very well on the lips because of the precise applicator and this color reminds me of a soft pinkish rosy petals absolutely love this and i'm spreading that out and removing any excess with my finger and it dries pretty quick and shows the matte finish on the lips instantly so quickly set the lips with finger but it's too pink and looking pale so i'm taking nyx powder puff lip cream in the shade pop quiz which is a beautiful raspberry lip color and i have been looking for a perfect shade for my new everyday lip color and i came across this beautiful lip cream and just fell in love it's my first time using this and i am definitely going to buy more and i'm just applying this in the center of my lips and i'm lightly spreading that out with my finger to make it look soft and melted into the lips and this you guys is the makeup look complete 
and if you have time just add a little pink shine to your lips it looks beautiful and fresh as well so thank you so so much everyone for watching i hope you guys really really enjoyed watching my video please don't forget to subscribe and like this video if you do and the button is just right here on the screen and i'll see you guys very soon bye